Now we saw earlier before I pulled the playback engine up, and I sort of modified where I wanted to have the current engine go. Now with Pro Tools 9.0, this system provides you with a new system for setting up and selecting the audio engine for Pro Tools to use with your audio interface. So you can see here, I go here to the top where it says current engine. And you'll see I have, of course, it says Mbox 2, Mbox 2 Pro, and it says Pro Tools Aggregate 1.0, or I.O. rather. Now, what this means is that I have the drivers. So what happens, I load those drivers I showed you earlier, I load these drivers in, and now Pro Tools can recognize these interfaces. So the available options are determined by which audio interfaces were connected and have supporting drivers that are installed in your computer. That's very important. So you got to make sure you install these drivers for your Pro Tools systems to recognize that interface. Now, changing the current engine setting can be useful if you want to have multiple audio interfaces connected to your computer with different routing configurations within the system or in your studio. Uh, for example, let's say you're doing a session that's in HD, and you want to make that session available for using on a laptop computer. Well, you can do so by changing the current playback engine. Now, to select it, you select your engine. For example, so before you go here, select the engine, and it will ask you, it will prompt you here, selecting this playback engine will automatically save and close your session. Let's cancel that. We already did that once already. This lets you understand, and this is important to understand, but this playback engine feature will help you out a lot in configuring your system up within your studio. 